Time for a fish room update. August 2016. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again, coming at you today with a fish room update for August. We're going to squeeze one in before the end of the month here. Been real busy, so I haven't had much time this month to get anything out to you guys, but uh, we'll go ahead and start down here in the basement. Um, looking at my uh, Midas Amphilophus citronellus. Um, this guy's name is Cheeto. He's still doing real well. Um, he's got quite an attitude on him really fun to, to be around and interact with. Real good fish, really enjoy this guy. Still uh, one of my favorites in the fish room. So he's doing real good. Down below is his brother. I haven't named this guy yet, but uh, I showed you him in my last video, and boy, in the past month, month and a half, since I've had him, his orange has really gotten brighter and more orange. It was almost, when I got him, it was, it, to me it looked like almost kind of a pinkish color, a uh, pinkish orange, and now he's really gotten to where I want him to be. Um, really digging this guy. I guess he's just gotten settled in and his colors have changed. Now the female is still down here. She pretty much hides there all the time. So not sure what'll happen there but uh, she's not damaged or anything like that he hasn't been picking on her that's just where she likes to be so Let's see her backing out a little bit there but anyway so that's the the two Midas tanks uh, behind me here are I still have some uh, Redis latest grow outs. I've sold about half of them probably. Um, still have some more. I'm going to hold on to some, but I'm still uh, going to sell some more. So if you're looking to buy some of these, let me know. We'll uh, we'll get you get you some uh, shipped off. Down below is my one flower horn, the red magma. It's doing pretty good. close up of him there. He's not wanting to play right now. Yeah, he's doing good. A um, little bit of growth with him. I think the nuchal hump's uh, getting a little bigger. So, anyway. Uh, we'll head over here, take a look at my other flower horn. This is the 9.9 .9 Comfa. This is Colossus. I got this guy from Mike Mann uh, a few months ago now. This guy's just full of attitude. Um, really fun fish to interact with. i get him to come over here so you can see him. He's growing. Um, his colors are looking good. Yeah. Nice looking fish. Really, uh, really dig this guy. Really like how the reds have come out in him as of late. Down below here is, she's probably hiding, but I've got a uh, male RTM in here, or female RTM in here that I am no longer going to keep, um, so, but she's in here for now. Uh, next door here is uh, the Umbi pair. This is, uh, the male here is an F1 from Magnus female is a wild cut that I got from Raps. They have not spawned in many, many months, but that's okay. Um, 
he's really, uh, his blues have been coming out quite a bit more lately and I'm really, really liking that. His freckling is, is looking really nice too. Um, as you can see, he likes to chase her around a little bit. There she is, she comes out of there, but really liking the way this guy's been turning out lately. Um, for a while I was kind of not too hip on his coloring and everything, but I, I'm really certain to enjoy this fish a lot more than I did before. I mean, how can you ever not enjoy an umby, but um, yeah. A little bit of a hump growing and I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but he's starting to get some kind of that reddish color that they get in the head. Up above here are the uh, RTMs from, uh, from Sean Hyden. Here's the male. Looking real good. Females coming out of the tube over here. They, um, they've spawned for me twice since I've had them. First time that I didn't do anything with the fry and they ate them all. Second time I pulled about half and uh, got not many, less than 10 left in that tank over there. They just didn't have a very good survivability. Um, but uh, there's a couple random ones still in this tank but he got really rough on her about a week ago maybe two weeks now and uh, I had to actually divide him because he beat her up pretty good but I pulled the divider two days ago and they've been doing fine ever since so um, hopefully that's a one-time thing but keeping the divider on hand just in case They're getting more and more used to being here. Um, they're they and, and they still are very skittish at times, but they were really skittish for the first long time that I had them. As you can see, she is hiding out in the tube now. But they don't always hide out. A lot of times they're out and about and very interactive. It's just I don't know what the what the deal is sometimes, but. Um, not worried about it whatsoever. This pair is just sweet looking and I, I couldn't be happier. There's a couple fry you can see I think. She's still healing a little bit um, from her wounds but uh, he's not, uh, I haven't seen him picking on her at all so I'm keeping a real close eye. Yesterday they actually were showing kind of pre-spawning behavior in this uh, flower pot but that seemed to has that seems to have gone now um, anyway that's the RTMs uh, coming over here uh, to the reddest latest pair uh, no spawn since February with these guys they're doing good they've shown some times where uh, you know her tubes partially down actually right now uh, they've shown some signs where they were about to spawn and then it never happens. I think it was about two weeks ago her tube was all the way down and she was kind of doing like dry runs and uh, and then it just never happened. Um, I think he just gets a little too aggressive with her and she backs off and um, just isn't having it. So, But yeah, they're doing good. They're looking good. Um, the sequoia that are in this tank with them are doing good. Um, they work pretty good for dithers. Uh, down below here I've got a pair of uh, Hadiensis. Can't remember if I had these in the last video. The male is in this tube right here. They spawned once but then um, one of these plecos, I gotta remove them from this tank. They're just too big for the fish. Uh, came in and ate the eggs and the fish weren't able to fight the pleco off. So um, The female is where is she at now? She likes to hide. She's got a couple different hiding spots that she likes. Uh, sometimes she goes, she digs, and she's under this flower pot. I'm not sure where she's at right now, but anyway, waiting for them to hopefully spawn again and continue to watch them grow. I guess I'm not going to be able to get any good video of them for you right now since they're hiding. And it gets to be a bummer when you go to shoot a video and that happens but up here are what I've kept um, from the uh, group of uh, Hadiensis that I, I had 
Um, I've got what appears to be one male and either three females or may the other one's questionable but I think the other three are females. They're all good size. Looking nice. Um, these two seem to kind of hang out and maybe have uh, started a pair bond so that's good. But uh, yeah, that's what I got going there. Down below here is a, another RTM. It's a male that I'm getting rid of that uh, he's hiding right now. Sequoia grow outs right here. Nothing in these two tanks. And then there's a, like I said, a small handful of uh, RTMs from the Rio Blanco pair over there. And that's about it for the basement. We'll go upstairs. I'll get you a, a shrimp update on a separate video. The discus are doing well. Um, they are hungry right now. Haven't got any more discus for a few months now and I don't know that I will. Um, for a while doing pretty good the way the way things are oh, we got the glare coming from the outside here close the shade real quick help that out a little bit Not much really to say about these guys, other than they look pretty sweet. Still enjoying the plant-free scape in this tank, just some basic pool filter sand, rocks, and driftwood. So that's good. We'll finish things off here in the office. Still got the Giardini, he's going strong. Clown loaches and the uh, Andalachiri is in here somewhere. He's hiding out right now, I guess, but uh, he's doing good also. Um, final tank I'll show you here is the 90 gallon Iwagumi Scape. I have decided that we're not going to do the shrimp in here. It's just not working. I haven't been able to keep shrimp alive very well with the CO2. Crystal shrimps, um, there may be a couple left, but they've all pretty much died off. I'm uh, working on, once again, um, trying to get rid of the scuds slash lawn shrimp. I've got one pea puffer in here. That's all I had left in the other tank. I'm gonna get some more this weekend and then we're just gonna go fish in this tank. Probably something real basic like Cardinal Tetras or something like that. May try to find something else uh, that's a little bit more uncommon, but I think uh, I think it'll probably be Cardinals. I just have always liked them. They look good in a scape like this. They have good coloring, they school well, so it's probably what I'll do. Um, So anyway, that's that tank. Not much to see right now other than the aquascape. So anyway, we started this guy. I guess we'll leave with this guy. Um, I want to thank you guys that watch my videos and uh, those of you that subscribe and take the time to comment. Um, really means a lot to see all the subscribers and everybody that interacts with me through this channel. If you're new to this channel and have never uh, uh, subscribed or have never seen my videos before, go ahead and hit subscribe. I try to bring you pretty regular uh, fish update videos as well as uh, updates on my shrimp tanks and my reef tank, um, all of which can be seen in separate videos. Um, also make sure you go to the YouTube channels for the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their links will be below. And make sure you go over uh, on Facebook and check out Aquatic Support Community and also the Aquatic Support Systems uh, Facebook business page. Uh, give those a like or a join. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.